Fit and ten. Let's see if I can get this lined up here nicely as I normally do. Yeah, it looks bad. It looks not bad. All right. Busy day here. Lighting's not the same. It's a bit dark outside. So I'm running this video uh, earlier in the morning. And um, Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. We have a meeting, right? We have a meeting at 10 a.m. And we're going to talk about fat loss, metabolism, calories, and um, why dieting can make you fat, okay? All right, uh, let's get in some Q&As here right away. Uh, <clears throat> listen, somebody has a, uh, they have an umbilical, uh, um, umbilical hernia slash diastasis. Um, so basically their ab abdominal wall is not as strong and they're asking what should I do in this case? Should I just not lift as heavy or should I wear a belt? I'm gonna suggest to you to wear a belt Okay, and this will, when you're creating more intra-abdominal pressure, especially when you're squatting and deadlifting and overhead pressing, um, and you create more of that intra-abdominal pressure, which is what we want ideally for everybody, um, in this case, there is a weakness there. So um, I'm gonna suggest a belt, right? And the belt will help push against the pressure, okay? So the work that your uh, abdominal wall is supposed to do, uh, we're gonna get the belt to do, okay? Now, obviously, I don't want you wearing a belt. Ideally, I don't want you wearing a belt. But in this case, you're going to wear a belt. And also, Martina has got some exercises for this. So um, check in with her uh, or remind me, okay? All right. Um, uh, somebody put up some bars. They found these bars, two bars actually, and they're not bad. They're not my favorite, but they're not bad. Um, and they are glute, uh, gluten-free and they are vegan-friendly. So, And these are, I think it was... Uh, uh, Simply Protein or Soy Simply or something. Okay, well, I'll put them up in the Facebook group if um, this person hasn't already. Uh, and the other one was a Cliff Bar. Okay, and listen, when you're looking at foods that are processed, always go to the ingredients first. I don't even look at the macros, to be honest with you. I just look at the ingredients because I don't care what the macros are. If the ingredients are garbage, I'm not buying it. So I always go to the ingredients first. And um, listen, in the ingredient list, we want to have as many whole foods as possible. As many whole foods as possible. Okay, uh, we don't want to have these. We don't want to typically not all, not always, but you know sometimes you look at the list and there's some things or some um, listing of ingredients that you can't really even pronounce. Typically, stay away from those bars. Okay, um, but these two bars are not bad, so they're a good source for those of you who are vegan and or uh, gluten sensitive. Uh, listen, if you are ordering meals from whatever company, okay, got to eat meals is helping us out, but maybe you're ordering from another company, which is fine, you can do that. Um, you don't have to get all your macros with those meals, right? You can get a certain amount of macros and then just top off your macros that you have at the end of the day, right? But when you do order your meals, make sure you try to get a, a basically a balance of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, okay? All right, so somewhere around that um, a third of each, okay? Even though your carbs are actually going down. A little bit over time okay um, what else did I want to say here how are we doing for time all right we're approaching four minutes all right here's the message for today and please don't take this hard but take it as I say it winners train losers complain winners train losers complain all right now I want you to keep this in your mind because listen even yours truly goes through times where you know, I feel perhaps sorry for myself, right? And it's not this, it's not like, you know, you're, you're, you're saying yourself, oh, I feel so sorry for myself, but you know, you, you, you just, you, you, you kind of feel like you don't want to give it maybe as much as actually is there. Okay. And this, I'm just talking about in life. Um, so, you know, this is the time where we need to raise our standards. As, as I've said before, we need to raise our standards, right? raise our standards and not give up and push, 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 right? Winners train, losers complain. Find ways to make things happen. It's all there for you. We live in the, we're, we're, we're among the luckiest people on this earth, okay? We are among the luckiest people on this earth. Remember that. We have everything at our disposal. We get to go to a tap, turn it on, and fresh water comes out. We can put our mouth underneath there, glug, 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 glug. You know, like, there's not a lot of people in this world that have that. Okay, we have all the luxuries at our disposal. We are not hurting, we are, we are not poor us, no. 
We are very lucky, all right? Remember this, all right? We can do whatever we want. We have all the opportunities for it, okay? All right, guys, over five minutes here. This is terrible. All right, we'll talk to you all soon. See ya. I want to see this on Saturday. Yours, not mine.